Hi guys and welcome back. Look at that weather. Look how foggy it is out there. I can barely see 10 foot in front of myself. But anyway, you're joining me in the van this morning because of the job we're doing today. We're going to be boarding out a section of the loft. Not the whole loft, just a 8 foot by 9 foot section in the middle of the loft. Um, just for a bit of storage space really. It's not going to be anything fancy. Um, we're going to raise it up a little bit so it's just off the insulation. So we're going to raise it up. We've got some 3 by 2s to put round first. Then we're going to put our decking section on top of that. Now because of how it is up a loft, I'm going to be wearing a mask. So there probably won't be a lot of me actually talking to the camera. But what I am going to do is I'm going to narrate what I'm doing in on a voiceover so i can yeah give you sort of a little uh show you some of the things that i do to make life a little bit easier but um yeah that's it i'm gonna stop talking to you a lot i'm gonna stop procrastinating i'm gonna get myself up in the loft and i'm actually gonna get on with this job um but yeah i'll come back and check in with you at the end cheers <laughs> Okay, so we start off with doing the uh, the horrible job out of the lot, getting rid of all this old insulation. Now it will be going back in, but obviously we've got to build up the frame first and uh, give it somewhere to put the insulation in. Then we uh, needed to get rid of some of these bracing pieces because they're going to uh, interfere with our frame, so we need to get them out of the way. And then make sure we bang these nails over. The last thing you want this close to Christmas is to be going to hospital with a nail in the bottom of your foot, so make sure you bang them over. This is the second one. There was only two that were in the way and a couple of little uprights, but um, it's quite interesting. Have a look at the amount of uh, nails that are in, is in the bottom of this one compared to the other one. Maybe it was late on a Friday and they wanted to get home when they'd done the other one, so they just toshed it on. I'm going to start getting my timbers in place. Well, up into the loft space anyway. then we can start marking out for our front and our back pieces so I was going to work this out but it actually worked out quite nicely with just doing it at 400 centers um, that worked out well and then that falls in line with the join on me um, the join on me boards that I'm going to be using me decking boards you see me there mark the tops now this is good so that I don't get it the wrong way around when we get over to the other side start assembling the thing so we're using 90 90 mil ring shanks there um, plenty enough for what we're using you'll notice when I start nailing that I move my hands out of the way that's actually a really good idea because if you hit a knot there that nail can shoot straight up and go into your hand so yeah just make sure you uh, get your hand out of the way to the other side paying attention to making sure that that uh, top marks at the top I just mark it with a T no need to go any fancy with this but you can see the section size that we're going to be doing now so it's not not a massive area but it just means when when you climb up from the loft you've got something decent to stand on somewhere to store some boxes and bits and pieces Now I want to make sure that none of these loose cables that are running through are underneath any of the frame. I don't want to trap any of the cables so I just spend a couple of minutes moving the cables around, getting them all out of the way and then I'm lining that front post up with a beam that's already there. Now it's a good idea to make sure this is straight. So you can see here that I nail both ends and then in a minute you're going to see I'm going to put a string line through just so I can make sure that that front, that front one's straight because that's going to make it a hell of a lot easier when we put our decking boards in. See it just pinching that string line just to make sure that it's not snagging. There we go, now we've got a nice front straight so we know our boards are going to run true off of that first point. Now 
now the next thing to do is to make sure that we've actually got it um, square because yet again for running them boards so we just do a quick corner to corner to check that's more than enough to do it perfect then we can go ahead and nail the rest of the frame down yeah, again, I made sure that none of them cables were underneath it, so I'm pretty confident I can just go for it. I can nail up wherever I want to now. Run out of bullets there, so we had to go back and get a few more. I really love that Hitachi nailer. I've had that for years, and it's never let me down. Never failed once. I've got the same in the first, uh, in the second fix. Sorry. Um, that's been in to be repaired a few times, but that that second fix, no, that first fix now, I never once had a problem with it. So glued and nailed down here. If it was a floor down in a um, like in a main living area, you'd want to screw it because the last thing you want is squeaky floorboards. But you ain't going to get any foot traffic up here, so nails is more than enough. And I changed out, so uh, I think I've got 63s in there rather than the 90s. But ring shanks again, just to make sure. They don't come up and that compiled with the glue it's, it's not going anywhere <coughs> now the one problem that you have with using these boards is um they're not tongued on the end tongued and grooved on the end which is a bit stupid really i, I think you know because you've got to line up on onto a joist now whereas with the other stuff that's tng'd on the ends you don't have to really going to be the thing that's going to do most of the work here and really make the thing strong. Okay, jump forward a little bit here. tongued on the ends so it just makes it a little bit I find it harder to put together actually because they're not tongued it hasn't got that positive like locks in place but hey ho what can you do so you'll see here that I don't um, nail it up completely at this stage it just makes it easier to just sort of like put a few nails here and there until you've got all your balls in and then I go round at the end nailing the whole thing up um, and equally here you'll see that I don't I'm not starting from the end every single time. It's because we want to stagger them joints. We don't want the joints all to be running together. So yeah, staggering them off. So I can take a full board here, which gives me a four hundred mil overhang onto the next one. and then the bit that I cut off can then be put back into the first bit into the missing section if that makes sense there you go you see what I mean here that off cuts the, the right size now
Now the keen eyed lot of you out there will notice that I've put some extension pieces on there. And that's just because I had some extra boards. We had a little bit of extra space there. So I just thought we might as well use it. Giving them a bit more working space. So yet again, staggering them boards again. Run out of bullets again. go we're on to the last bolt And there you have it, that's the job done. Now I'm not gonna beat around the bush, that was not a pleasant job, but they can't all be pleasant jobs, can they? You know, these jobs need doing. I'm very grubby and dirty, so I need to go home and get myself a wash. And that brings me on to my uh, biggest tip for you guys whenever you're doing stuff like that, is whenever you're dealing with insulation, like that sort of insulation, don't go home and jump straight in a hot shower or a hot bath. All that's gonna do is open up your pores and all them little fibers are gonna get hooked in and locked into you. So home, cold wash first to wash all of that stuff off and then fill your boots, bath, shower, whatever it is you, you prefer to do. But yeah, I think it come out really well. Customers over the moon with it, which is a good thing. As you can see, that weather's sorted itself out. It's still a bit of a gray day, but at least we can see outside the van window. Um, and before you say it, yes, I know I should have had a better mask on. I couldn't actually find my proper uh, proper respirator this morning, so I just thought that mask is better than nothing. Um, as it turned out, it wasn't the best option in the world, but, you know, what can you do? Um, but, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank you guys for watching along. If you want to see more of these sort of videos or tutorials or tool reviews and all that, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, you'll be up to date with all my videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.